San Francisco is known for its picturesque neighborhoods, but inside many properties, tucked into garages, are hidden homes for many of the city's working class, immigrant, and poor residents. Hey, pues las cucarachas. There's cockroaches. Yeah, hay ratones. And rats. Pues las paredes, como pueden ver ahí por la cocina, se están pelando, no. Uh, en el baño también la pared de arriba. paint in the kitchen and in the bathroom. Entonces, este. Pues sí quisiera moverme, pero realmente ahorita no se puede. I'd really like to be able to move, but right now that's not possible. Inside garages live people like Yvette and her family, living in illegally renovated rental apartments, often called secondary or in-law units. We have de facto housing that is under the radar, but is there. People are living in this housing. There are neighbors. There are co-workers, there are people who care for our, our family members, uh, there are schoolmates, there are customers if we're merchants. There are people who shop in this corridor, they are members of, of this community. Yvette is not the only one living like this. A recent news conference highlights that there are likely tens of thousands of San Francisco residents living in secondary units. Not surprising since the city has the most expensive housing market in the U.S. The shadow rental market uh, in San Francisco of unauthorized units serves as a critical source of affordable housing for immigrant working class families. At the press conference, a report was released about the most diverse neighborhood in San Francisco, the Excelsior. Homes hidden within it are not being counted. The most notable aspect of our findings was that uh, it was very uh, um, uh, inconsistent with census data. Uh, what emerged from our survey was a very substantial and distinct tenant community living in the Excelsior neighborhood. Families leaving because of the city's red-hot real estate market is a major problem. Secondary units do provide a solution to tenants needing to pay low rents and for landlords to pay their mortgage. We have to figure out how uh, we can make sure that this housing that's so ample, that's here, where people are actually living in, can be habitable, uh, can have the, the protections that tenants have uh, all over San Francisco. Uh, and we also have to understand that the people who actually are the landlords of these housing often are working class people as well who uh, are barely making ends meet and often use uh, rental income to help make sure that they can stay in their home, pay their mortgage, and ma maintain what little wealth they have. While there is a lack of affordable housing in the city, residents like Yvette will continue to live in substandard housing. This is Diane Ruiz for People Power Media.